In this video, we will cover the procedure for assigning names and numbers to the substations and masters within your system. The control unit composition step must be performed before continuing. Select registering stations from the menu on the left. What the table shows will depend on what exchanges you have registered in the control unit composition step. Determine what stations will be plugged into which ports on your respective exchanges. If a port is not used, you will not fill in any information. Masters will plug into M ports on the ISCCU and ISSCU. Subs and doors will plug into the D ports on the ISCCU and ISSCU. Audio subs and doors will use the C ports on the ISRCU. Choose the area for each unit, enter a station number and a station name, although entering a station name is not absolutely required. Next, choose what type of station will be hooked up from the drop-down menu. In this example, we will have six masters, four video doors, one audio door, two room subs, and three external paging amplifiers. For port D1, it will be in the main area. It will be station number 101. We will call it the main door, and the station type will be video door. D2 will be in the east area. Station number will be 102. We will call it the east wing door. And it too will be a video door. D3 will be in the main area. Its station number will be 103. We'll call it the conference room, and in this case we'll make it a room sub. D4 will be in the main area. Its station number will be 104. We will call it the spare office, and it too will be a room sub. M1 will be in the main area. We'll assign it a station number of 201 and its name will be the main office. Because it's not a substation or a door and it's a master, it will not have a station type. M2 will be in the main area. Its station number will be 202. The name will be manager's office. M3 will be in the main area. Its station number will be 203, and it will be the security office. M4 will be in the east area. Its station number will be 204, and we'll give it a station name of the East Wing Office. On the ISSCU, D1 will be in the West area. Its station number will be 105. We will call it the West Wing Door, and it will be a video door. D2 will be in the main area. Its number is 106. We will call it a shipping door and it too will be a video door. D3 will be in the main area. Its station number will be 107. We will call it the back door, and its station type will be an audio door. Because we do not have units on ports D4 through D8, we will leave them blank. M1 will be in the west area. Its station number will be 205, and we will call it the west wing office. M2 will be the main area. Its number will be 206, and we will call it the shipping office. If you're adding an external paging amplifier to your system, this is where you would assign a name to it. For this example, we will have three amps off of the ISCCU. P1 will be labeled main amp. P2 will be labeled east wing amp. P3 will be labeled west wing amp. Done making your changes, click the temporarily stored button. If everything is correct, you will see a red message displayed at the top and bottom of the screen letting you know that the changes will not occur until the system is updated. After temporarily storing your settings, you can either update the system or go on to the next video in this series.